in the previous lesson, we looked at how a range is very powerful. A range can generate a list of points and we can tweak these list of points in different directions, in the X, in the Y, and in the Z. And the power of this is that it can enable you to do so many things. So now I want to look at, can we use a code block to kind of make this really neat? So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we want to create this range. So how do we do a range in a code block? So let's type in code block. Okay, I could have copied the other code block. And the way we do a range is we do, let's say the first number, two full stops, the second number, two full stops, and the range. And then we hit semicolon and we hit semicolon and then we hit enter so because we're in automatic you can see it has generated the same points so for example if our start range was zero and this was 360 and the steps were 10 you can see it has just generated the same as these three sliders this this and then this with all the different points okay so we do not have to we do not have to do this so but then again what we want to do is we want to give this something so let's name it points equals to that okay so now what we want to do is now we want to do a math function. So we want to do, let's say we're going to name this sign. Um, let's do the mathematical function, math. It's good to click, make sure you maintain the same, the same math.sign, make sure it's capital letters. And let's try and do points. Okay, and we hit enter. Okay, you can see the second output has created sign for all those points. But then remember what we did was we got that and multiplied it by a value. Okay, so which was also a range. Okay, which was also a range. Okay, so we, we are trying to recreate what we had there. Okay. So then after that, um, what we did was, let's make this a given function. Let's name this. Um, I have to show you something also very important um, in regards to a code block. So for example, if you, if you again put a range, let's say zero, comma, comma, 360, comma, comma, uh, full stop, full stop, and you put 10 and you put semicolon, it creates a range as we saw earlier, okay? But now, for example, if you put a hash key, it means divide these into 10. So for example, you see now we have 36 um, indexes. So for example, if you, want, if you put a hash key, it's something very different. If you put a hash key, you're like, I need 10. And what's going to do, it's going to go in series um, whereby it divides them equally into 10 parts. So it's going to divide the total length, the total range into equal, into 10 equal parts. So the 10 equal parts are 0, 40, this. So if I make this 20, again, you shall see the same thing. They reduce, okay, with a hash key, okay? Okay, so if I do five, Again, it's the same. But if I remove the hash key, the steps are going to be five, okay? So I'll have way much more angles. So remember the hash key, what it does, it divides into equal parts, okay? So let's go back here. This is what we're trying to do. So we're trying to do sign. So let's get that, we got points. Now I wanted to multiply them. So what we could do is we could get these points and multiply them by a given value. Let's say a one 
you saw what we did there so a1 will have to come in so what i want to do is i want to get this same slider bring it here okay and we multiply the points by the same okay and then we want to have points by coordinate okay point by coordinates okay so we want to have because we want to have these let's name them points two points two equals okay points two comma zero comma zero okay so now what we want to start with is remember um we want to have a range from zero to 360 our points want that that's going to be our first that's going to be our x so let's make these points and then this points two okay so um, i'm going to stop previewing this so you can just right click the node and click remove preview so we've created that and now our main challenge is we need some form of amplitude okay okay so it looks like it has to be the other way around so i'm going to do a1 times the math sign. I'm not going to do it inside because this is creating a low amplitude, okay? As you can see, we've ended up with the same, okay? And we can move this around. Okay? We can move this around and we can increase the intensity as we did earlier but we have used one node to create all this okay so again you can do a number of things you can want to create a very complex function and and display how it works and it will really help you so it's very important to understand this because it will save you a lot in regards to how you do it so you could want to move this curve up so for example, we could have, um, let me just remove this. So let's say for example, want to control the range, want to control all the inputs. So I'm going to name this, let's say start, start number and number. then range okay so again it's the same and what i could do is for all these i'm going to put sliders okay so let's go let's have v v v so i'm going to rename all these i'm going to create something that's for example i'm going to rename this as start angle okay you can always rename this that angle okay and angle and angle so we have the start and and then the steps okay rename this to steps Okay, which is the range and again what we want to do we have the start so we also want to why do I have one point <laughs> okay so our start angle is zero our end angle is 360 and our steps are that so we have that which is good so now what we want to do is let's name this okay that's fine so we want i want to add more controlling parameters okay um 
I could control what A1 is in terms of um, in terms of the points, okay? Um, I may want to control A1 in terms of its range. But then I'm going to put something called a phase. So let's name this phase. It can move it up and down. So let's name this phase. And let's put it on the on the Z phase. Okay, so bring it here. Nope, I didn't want it there. I want it this there. Okay. So you can still move it on the on the Z, but I want to move it by one, not by whatever. So it's not exactly off the X point, but that's good. So you can see we've created an, a full node and you can name these, maybe you can say start angle, just like I named them. So it's okay, start angle and angle, start angle and angle. Then this what we are changing is the amplitude, okay? Amplitude. So let's rename this amplitude. Okay, so a1 should be amplitude. So we'll call it amplitude. Okay. So again, you can come back and you name it and it creates the curve. So we have that and we've created a function where um, with just a few nodes, I'm going to call that back. With just a few nodes and we have been able to create a signed curve. So I thank you for your attention. And we are going to try looking at all of making this node kind of custom. Um, why is this very important? Is that you reach situations where you want to create a node and you want your team to use it. So in the next lesson, we are going to look at creating a custom node.